Dana, will you come into my office, please? You know, I'm not feeling very well. I think it's the ulcer. Is there any way for us to move tomorrow's patients for next week? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it'll be a problem. Nothing seems too urgent. What about this new patient, uh, Sebastian Edivane? It's a strange name. Um, what is he coming in for? Oh, uh, he said he had a toothache and that has been bothering him for a while and he just wanted to get it extracted. I hate to reschedule a new patient. Do you think he can wait a day? I can come in Saturday and do it myself. I don't need the assistance. Yeah, I call him right now. Um, I don't think it'll be a problem. He seemed pretty mellow when I talked to him on the phone. Thank you for seeing me on a Saturday. I really appreciate it. Although, I do realize that this is your weekend. Well, I'm very sorry that I had to cancel yesterday, but I wasn't feeling very well. I appreciate your understanding. Let's take a look. Okay. I'm gonna have to take an x-ray. So what did you do before you retired? Oh, I was a federal contractor in Latin America. Venezuela, Argentina, Colombia. Nice country. I hear it's difficult for outside companies to get into. How did you get there? Oh, I got lucky, I guess, with my partner that uh, had a lot of contacts in Latin America. I see. Yeah, we built uh, some beautiful buildings, uh, saw some beautiful country, met some beautiful people. Open up. Bite down. Hold still. You know, you're right, this tooth has to come out. I think that it's going to be a little bit more complicated than what I expected. Well, are you still going to be able to do it today? Oh, yes. I just want you to be more comfortable. So I'm going to use what we call a conscious sedation. It's going to make you feel a little bit relaxed and block out any pain that you may have. Uh, you may fall asleep. Do you have any drug allergies? No. Good. My only concern is that you may be a little drowsy and not be able to drive. I can call a cab and pick my car up in the morning. Wonderful. Let's do it. Here, take this. Wake up. Wake up. Ah, you're awake. No, I didn't take that tooth out. Yet. Now since you're awake, it's the time to take that tooth out. You can feel everything. Maybe we can take out some more. You're probably wondering why I'm doing this to you. It was Columbia. It was one of your escapades. 35 years ago, you seduced a young Colombian woman, Maritza Aguilar. You promised you would marry her. You would take her to America. You ruined her life, got her pregnant. Do you know what it's like for an unwed mother in Colombia? No, you don't. My mother did make it to America. After all the suffering and sacrifice, she escaped and gave me the life that you were supposed to give to her. And what a coincidence. I've looked all over for you. And you just walked into my office all by yourself. Don't you think God himself arranged this so that I can indulge in my revenge? Sebastian Edivane. There is only one person in the whole world who has that name. 
and he's right here in my office. And now, he's going to pay for his crimes. And how are you going to die? Quite simple. Just a little radiation treat. Now my mother's name is going to be cleared. Goodbye, Bobby. Go back to hell, where you came from. <laughs> Mommy, I found him. Who? Sebastian Edivine. I found him. Ay, mija, would you give it up already? No, mommy, I'm serious. I found him this time. Ay, mija, listen, baby. There is no Sebastian Edivain. Your real father was Luis Rodriguez, the car mechanic from my village. He went to jail for murder before I knew I was pregnant. He probably died in jail, too. You push and push and push me to tell you who your father was. And I was ashamed for giving birth out of wedlock. I saw the name on a sign at a construction site. So that's the name I gave you. I never thought you turned your father into an obsession. Now that you know the truth, would you please give up this tendera? Mija? Are you there? Mija? Mija? Sandra, are you there? <laughs>